So before I bit the bullet on buying the Tannis armor and the Revolut tight trips, I scoured the whole internet looking for reviews and videos regarding this setup. Fortunately, there's a lot of videos in YouTube regarding the Tannis armor. On the other hand, the Revolut tight tubes has nothing. There's no durability test, no puncture test. I didn't see any of those in YouTube. The only reviews I've seen about Revolut tight tubes is about its weight, and that's it. Although there is one video uh, from a rival company, they have their own version of this product and they did their own puncture test. And in their test, it showed that the regular tire tubes got punctured at 7 newtons. On the other hand, their, their own version got punctured at 17 newtons. But here's the thing, how do we measure newtons on the trail? We're mountain bikers. Most of us has no background on science and engineering. So for today's video, we're going to be doing the torture test old school style. We're just going to lay flat all the sharp objects and we're just going to run through over them. For today's torture test, we are going to be using some of our favorite trail treasures. At first, we have the one inch nails. The second one, we have an inch and a half nails. The third, we have brad nails. To our brothers and sisters in the south, unfortunately, we don't have any thorns in the uh, regions where we live. So we are going to be using the brad nails as replacement. But if you look at the tip, it has this blunt edge. So we are going to be snipping that off. There you go. That way it has that pointy edge like a thorn does. So we have the brad nails for the third one. In the fourth, we have the large diameter bolt that I sharpened to a point. That one has a my caliper died, so we're going to be using the manual measurement. That's almost 12 millimeter thick. Then the third one, we have this metal fragment that I made. It has a length of almost 17 millimeter. Also, I sharpened the edge, that way it has a greater chance of tearing to your tire and in hopes of destroying the rev loops as well. So, we're gonna test that sharpness. We have a picture of a department bike here that everybody loves. There you go. Nice and sharp. So, these are our contenders for today's torture test. Alright, so before we start with the torture test, I just want to let everyone know that this is not a sponsored video. I am not compensated for this. I am not getting paid for this. I'm only doing this for myself and for my friends who are curious about the Revolut tie tubes. Now, these tubes are actually 46 dollars each so if we destroy one today that will be 46 dollars out of my own pocket also since we will be doing our best to destroy this there might be a chance that i will be destroying my tire as well with that being said we are going to be using an old tire that was given to me by my friend so we will be using the uh, the Schwab Nobinic for our torture test today i have the max dhf on my hardtail right now and i am not gonna get that destroyed so we'll be using the, the old tire for the torture test. Also, it's actually raining outside, so we will be doing the test indoors. Uh, we do have ample space inside, so we should be good. So that's it. Enough rambling for today, and let's get this test started. Alright, so this is trial number one. Nail versus Revolut tire trees. Alright, so there's the result for our trial one. The Revolut tire tubes, which is pumped at 28 psi, got punctured by the one inch nail. So we're gonna fix her up. I do have the patch kit with me, but there's only three patches here. 
and we still have like four objects to test but for trial two we're going to be skipping the 1.5 inch nail for obvious reasons if it got punctured by the one inch nail i'm pretty sure that the 1.5 inch nail is going to puncture the rev loop as well so we're going to skip that one and we're going straight through the brad nails or the thorns all right so let's fix her up so the hole is patched i only use half of the size that came with it normally this is the size of the uh the patch but i only use half of it because the hole is is small and the patch covered it well and like i mentioned a while ago we have four more objects to test and i only have like three patches so this should be good and let's go to trial three yeah trial three we're skipping trial two So this is trial 3, Brad Nails versus Revolut Tai Chus. Let's go! That is the result for our trial 3, our Revolut Tai Chus, again at 28 PSI, got punctured by our brad nails or thorns and if you can see the puncture is where's that right there close to where the uh, one inch nail punctured the tire it's right there all right so let's uh fix her up again and let's go to trial number four all right so this is trial number four the large diameter bolt that has been sharpened to a point. Right, let's go. So this is the result of our trial 4. We have Revolut tie tube, pump at 28 PSI, and we have the large diameter bolt which was sharpened to a point. As you can see, the Revolut tie tube is still fully inflated. That's because the Revolut, oh sorry, that's because the large diameter bolt did not go through the tire. So I wouldn't say this is a win for Revolut tie tube because the tire basically saved it. So I would say that this trial 4 is invalid. Right, so let's head to our final trial, which is the metal fragment. So this is the final trial. We have the metal fragment, which was sharpened, versus the Revolut tie tubes at 28 PSI. Alright, here you go. So this is the result of our trial 5, again at Revolut tire tubes at 28 PSI versus the metal fragment that I sharpened. As you can see the Revolut tire tube has been punctured and it went right there, there it is. It actually sliced through one of the knobs. So yeah, there's no repairing that one, I'm gonna throw that old tire away. As for the Revolut tire tube, I will be no longer fixing that one. And since it's, this is the last trial, I'm just going to be swapping back everything. going to put my main wheel set back and I'm going to put this bike onto storage. Alright, so that concludes our torture test for the Revolut tire tubes. As what you have seen from trials 1 to 5, of course with the exception of trial 4 where the large diameter tube bolt didn't go through the tire. 
But nevertheless, I would still consider this whole torture test or puncture test as a failure for the Revolu type shoes. Am I disappointed? I would be lying if I said no. Am I still going to be using it? Oh yeah. I have the uh, Thanos armor and Revolut tire tubes on my wheel set, front and back, for my hardtail. As a matter of fact, for the past month, I've been doing trails. I've done rocks, some roots, some small drops, some jumps, some gaps, even uh, hock to flat drops. I think the platform was like three and a half feet or four feet high. My wheel set was at 20 PSI, no dings, no dents, and no pinch flats. So yeah, I'm happy with the performance of it. But the question is, are you going to use the Revolut tire tubes? If you're the kind of rider who is weight conscious and wants to save weight, then yeah, the Revolut tire tubes are really good. They're really light. But do not expect an absolute protection against punctures. As what you have seen from our trials, the Revolut tire tubes totally got wrecked. Right, with that, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, feel free to subscribe or like this video or not totally up to you. I'll see you guys on the trail Ride safe ride free